The Nazi Nile Volksarmee of the DDR had a mixed style represented in its insignia, taking many traditions from the German hair in World War II with influence from Soviet control. For a perspective, the manpower of the NVA consisted of some 85,000 soldiers in 1962 to 127,000 by 1967. In 1987, at the peak of its power, the NVA numbered around 175,000. Approximately 50% of this number were career soldiers, while the other were short-term conscripts. Being split into eight separate groups with students and aspirants included, here's a full rundown of the ranks comprised within the Landskrieft Grafte. There are a couple of terms that might be useful coming to know ranks and insignia. There are two different types of shoulder boards. Colorful boards for parades, dress, and service uniforms, and subdued for combat and field uniforms. The colors represented on the dress shoulder boards are called Waffenfarbe, or core colors, which correspond with the unit or specialty the soldier has. For example, orange designations are for Fallschirmjäger, and white is for Motorreisschützen. However, gray will be used for the rest of the video, representing pioneers. More forms of insignia are adorned on the arm, cuff, and collar, usually showing a special job, years of service, or category of soldier. The lowest rank is sold at, referring to the enlisted man. This rank can change amongst the DDR branches, and some core shoulder boards adorn special pins. Such an example is a shovel for conscientious objectors in the Pioneers. It is comparable to OR1 by NATO. Hauptfeldwebel was the duty title for those senior NCOs serving as company first sergeants. The position was denoted by a wear of a single braid band on each uniform sleeve cuff. In the Wehrmacht of World War II, as well as in the Bundeswehr, such NCOs were known as Dire Spears, but wore two braid bands on each sleeve. In sequential order, Amal Labsation of Feinrich, one star for 10 years of service, two stars for 15 years of service, and three stars for 20 years of service. These sleeve insignias correspond with the Feinrich Corps. The Unter Offizier Schuller can be denoted by the core color crossbar. This will be blackened on the subdued shoulder boards. Depending on the career and use, the training took place in a military technical school of the relevant subarmed force. The prerequisite for access to NCO training was average maturity, which was generally achieved by completing the 10th grade of the General Polytechnic High School. Students of NCO had to have completed vocational training. People with vocational training but a lower school qualification could, under certain conditions, gain admission through the second educational path, for example by taking special courses. The Grafeiter der Ausbildung, or NCO student in training, wore a silver-colored NCO angle and the relevant career badge on the sleeve of the uniform jacket and coat, such as the gold-colored star as a symbol of the nautical career. The double angle for non-commissioned officers no longer existed in 1984. By the NVA and Grenztruppen, the grade Unteroffizier was introduced in 1956, comparable to NATO OR 6B. The rank insignia remained almost identical to the Wehrmacht. There's designation of the two classes of NCOs, i.e. Unteroffizier ohne and mit Portepied, which generally disapproved by the East German communist military leadership and consequently uncustomary. The rank of Feldwebel is the first shoulder board designed to include a silver rank pip or Sterne, usually denoting a higher rank with a more worn. The Oberfeldwebel is the first of the senior NCO ranks qualifying for the Hauptfeldwebel, not to be confused with the Bundeswehr rank. Like the Wehrmacht in World War II, the Hauptfeldwebel was also an appointment only for senior NCOs, like Oberfeldwebel or Stabsfeldwebel, and later von Hendrik. The appointment insignia, double piston rings, on both cuffs on the uniform jacket were identical to those used in the Wehrmacht until 1945. The nickname were analog to the Wehrmacht, Speer, and Company Mother. Stabsfeldwebel is the highest NCO rank in the NVA. It is grouped as OR8 in NATO. In sequential order, Armelstreifen Winkel for the Company First Sergeant or Hauptfeldwebel located on the cuff. One angle chevron arm patch for soldiers of one year and for the Volkspolizei of five years service. Double angle chevron arm patch for professional soldiers of two years or the Volkspolizei of ten year service. Fifteen years service in Volkspolizei 
and finally 20 years of service in Volkspolizei. Historian Jia Wan, or Warrant Officer Cadet, is a first-year student. The von Hendrik Diestein grades are all adorned with a mark of the FRS, made of plastic or metal depending on parade or field service. These ranks were introduced in 1973 until 1990. This has the NATO equivalent of W01. Historian Yao Tu, or Warrant Officer Cadet, is a second year student. This also has the NATO equivalent of W01. The first to be denoted by golden rank pips, a Fonrich of the NBA was usually not an officer candidate, but a rank of the special 15 year service commitment W.O. career. The Fonrich Corps was to provide highly specialized long service members below the officer level and close a skill gap in the technical careers. First advanced senior NCOs were promoted to the rank of Fonrich even without them having specialist technical college qualifications. This allowed them to retain specialists who would otherwise have retired after their 10 years of service. Later, only Fonrich Schuler could be appointed Fonrich if they had it successfully completed a two-year training course and a military technical school. In 1979, three extra Fahnrich ranks were established, Oberfahnrich, Stabsfahnrich, and Stabsoberfahnrich. This rank corresponds to the NATO OR7 rank. The Offizier Schuler rank has the NATO equivalent of OFD. The Gothic S pinned below the shoulder board button stands for pupils or Schuler and would vary in material and color depending on the type of uniform worn. Each fabric crossbar would represent a year of academic study. Depending on the aim of the training or the desired level and intended position, the Offizier Schuler would differentiate into professional officer applicants or reserve officer applicants who saw a civilian profession after military service. The training at the OHS was considered a military course. For professional officers, the appointment as lieutenant and 21 more years of service followed after four years of study. Temporary officers were given a shorter period of training. After one year of study and being appointed as second lieutenant, two more years of service were completed. From 1983, three more. Mostly, at the end of this period of service, one would be promoted to lieutenant. The officer rank unter lieutenant could be assigned to military appointments as follows. Officer of the Operations Service, Political Officer, Officer of the Technical Service, Supply, Procurement, and Military Justice Service. The graduation to that particular OF1C officer rank was normally possible depending on the education and training accomplished. The promotion to the following lieutenant NATO OF1B rank was achievable after two years of service, to Hauptmann after three more years. The rank lieutenant with the NATO equivalent OF1B rank was the second lowest Unter Officer grade until 1990. This was particularly the most common lower officer rank held, acquiring it right after academic studies and training. The number of generals in the NVA is just a fraction of the numbers of generals in the Wehrmacht. Throughout the entire history of the NVA, there were only about 250 admirals and generals from all branches of service. The majority of these did not attain the rank until after 1965. There were three distinct patterns of the DDR general shoulder boards over the years of 1956 to 1990, beginning with early bullion cord four loop boards, very similar to the World War II style and evolving into the nylon cord based 5 loop boards with golden and silver cord. The color of the base felt on the shoulder board correlates with the branch of military, red being for the Land Street Crafte. Subdued insignia for all ranks was used from 1959 to 1964, although it was used later than 64, perhaps as late as 1968. Twine cords with a single large gold rank pip with a ruby center, affixed to the center of the board. Marshal boards are a bit wider than other general officer boards. The Marshal der DDR would also wear a bullion collar tab, again with the color of the military branch. The rank was established on the 25th of March 1982 by decree of the State Council of the DDR, but never bestowed. 
The council could promote a general to this rank for exceptional military achievement. It was believed that this rank would have only been granted during wartime and was created for the planning of the Warsaw Pact military strategy. However, in 1989, the acting minister of national defense abolished this rank.